Great. So let's take a look at another uh, feature that um, was a little bit ignored. I haven't heard many people talking about it, but I think it's a nice feature, which is the new style sheets property. The new style sheets property allows you to include additional style sheets in your components. So by default, the component is going to include the CSS, so the CSS file that has the same name of the component in the component folder, correct? With this style sheets property, you can have more CSS files in the component folder and you can include them in your component. So it allows you for a better uh, modularization of your CSS style sheets. And um, this is one of the features I was, or one of the reasons I was saying before that you don't really need to open Light DOM to have a good design of your CSS files, your CSS styles and how you use them in your components. Because even if you include a CSS style in multiple components at the same time, browsers load those styles in a smart way. They are not going to load it like many times. They are going to load it only once. So you can achieve kind of the same result just by importing your CSS classes into each individual component. Okay, and, and there is also a feature that allows you to store that CSS in a third component so you can reuse it and so you don't have to copy the file, but that's an older feature. Um, okay, so with this feature, let's say that we have my component CSS, but we want to include also two more files. Now we can do it. And again, we are going to LWC recipes and take a look at that. So here in LWC Recipes, we have Styling tab. This is a new tab. And I moved here the Styling Hooks recipe that you probably know, and I added a new recipe for style sheets. Let's take a look at it. So we can see that we have here the CSS file of the component, but we have one more file, which is our text styles. And this file is the one that is giving that fancy color to the font and that is changing the font family, okay? In the other file, the component one, we are just setting the background color, but the font is being set on the additional style sheets. So how do we use them? Very easy. We just import the styles and we assign them to the style sheets property. That's it. Easy, right? This is the font that I was referring to. Okay. Any questions so far regarding style sheets? <laughs> 